other one is that you've been hurt before. And I agree with that because I know when people have gotten hurt before, they have not gotten the rehabilitation that they should have gotten. They'll usually say, okay, uh, you had pain, I fixed you up, you got your shirt, you don't have pain anymore, you're fine, run along. Okay? But what happens is areas around that pain, they don't function right. Some muscles turn off, some overwork. Always, always, always. Okay? Stiffness, tightness, it's too much to get into now, but sometimes stiffness and tightness is actually a, a good thing. A lot of times we jump in and we want to stretch tight muscles a lot, right? And then the only little trick I'm going to tell you now is that if you keep stretching a muscle all the time, like a hamstring, and no matter how many times you stretch it or how often you stretch it, it never loosens up, it's never gone. You might as well just stop. You don't have to yank harder or do it more often. The reason being is your brain is pretty smart, and it's probably making it stiff and tight for a reason. And it's usually putting it there as a safety net. It's trying to make you stable so you don't hurt yourself. And when you go on there and you start messing with it, you're taking away its only safety net, and then it's going to get hurt a lot more. All right? So what you do is, and I'm going to teach you here, um, is that if you have stiffness or tightness in an area that never gets better, what you do is you look for a muscle somewhere else that is too weak and not strong enough for the body to support an area, so it's making something else tight. Flip the coin to the other side. Dysfunction of the knee. Uh, you've had a problem somewhere else a long time before. Okay, it's like the check engine light on your car. You can't tell me that your car was working 100% before that light turned on. Uh -uh. That's what pain is. Pain is your warning light that comes on. But you're a freaking disaster. Way long before pain is. Pain is the last thing to hit you. Okay, and it's the first to go. So what I want you to do is look at the body this way. And when you treat it, you have to treat it. Let me not say treat it. You have to address it in the same fashion that you're looking at. All right? So, if you look at the joint and the knee, what's the first thing that you see that is not listed right here? The knee? Right. Right. Okay? Because I can tell you that the athlete or a person who's seen a knee pain, it's not there. Look at their ankle and look at their hip. Right? Look at how well they dorsiflex in their ankle. Look how well they can flex and extend at the hip and move at the hip. You can find that functional, functional movement screen, or you can really just see how well they move. And I can just tell you already, assume that people can't move here and they can't move there. I just look for it. Okay? And the trigger point. These are the big dogs in the room. These are the ones I always look for. VML, which is right around the knee. The lateral is on the outside of the knee. The top of the rectus femoris here. And then the top of the knee to the back of the camp. Those are usually the ones that give you the most dysfunction in your knee. There's a lot more, but these, if you just look here, and, Guess what you hit when somebody gets on a phone board? Right. I like phone boards. Right. Those who don't like it, that's fine. I like it, it works. Right. Fascia. Fascia is the connected tissue center of your body. Right. You've got fascial lines which run over your whole body. Well, let's go champ. In. Three, control it. Four on the spring. Right. Ooh. 